Hey, back. All right, we're gonna we're gonna nail this down right now. We're gonna really get this going. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this network, and the goal is is to subnet it into one, two, three networks, right? So we want to take this network, right? One two hundred one six eight six dot zero network with a class C net mask two five five two five five two five five zero, which is also called a slash twenty four net mask. And what we want to do is we want to make it so that we can take this six network and turn it into three networks. Okay? You guys with me on that? Three or more. All right? We'll probably have to turn it into, uh, let's see here, four networks. That's what we'll probably do. Because we need three. Because in our network over here, this is our network picture, we've got three routers and three networks, right? And uh, we've got three networks to attend for. And actually, in this picture, if we've got a network over here, right? And then we have two routers connected to each other. That's a network right there. And then a network over here, right? That's a network over there. And then a network in between these two routers. And then a network over here. So that's actually one, two, three, four, five networks, right? That we have to account for. In other words, if you've got a router connected to a router, right? And then on the other side of this router is a network. And the other side of this router is a network, right? How many networks do you have? Well, you have the network that's created over here. Let's say this local area network right here. And you've got this local area network over here. But also the connection between the two routers is also a local area network, right? So in this case, we have three networks. In this scenario, where we have three routers, one, two, three, there's actually five networks depicted there. We're going to make it work for that scenario. But first of all, before we break this network down into subnets, I'm going to say, we're going to have, how does a router even function like this? In other words, if a router gets an IP address like 200.168.6.101, what the router's job is, is to route to, if, if the packet wants to go to this, address, right? So the destination is 200.168.6.101. The router's job is to take this IP address and combine it with the subnet mask or the net mask to find out which network is, where is this packet going to go? Now, if, if we look at this and we see that this is 255.255.255 and we know that the 255s represent the network portion, and we know that the zero represents the host portion, we already know that the network is 200.168.6.0. We already know that. But how does the router figure it out? How does the router figure out that this is the network? So we're going to go over that right now. It's process. And once we go over it, I think it'll help you out in understanding how subnetting works. This is really important to understanding subnet. Okay. Well, first of all, we've got to write this whole thing out in binary. So let's do that right now. Let's write this whole thing out in binary, the IP address and the subnet mask. Okay, so in binary, 200. All right, let's see here. 1, 1. That's the 128 bit, the 64 bit, right? What does that make? 128 plus 64, 192. Right, that's 192. And then a 0, and then a 0. And then a 1, that's 200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? And then 168 is a 1, and then a 0, and then a 1. That's a 128 bit. Nothing for a 64 bit. That's a 32 bit. 128 plus 32 is 160. The 16 bit, no. The 8 bit, yes. Two, three, four, five, eight. All right, so there's the 168. That's 200. That's 168. Now we got to get the rest. I'm running out of space here. Six. That'll be easier. One, two, three, four. This is the eight bit over here. That's a zero. Here's the four bit. That's a one. Two bit, that's a one. And the one bit, that's a zero. Right? 
So that is uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the six. And then you got to get the 101. And I'm running out of space here, so that's problematic. So let me kind of just put it over here. The 101. Uh, shoot. Let's see here. Zero for the 128, one for the 64, one for the 32, so zero, one, one. 64 plus 32 is 96, right? Zero here for the 16, and if we add eight plus 96, that's 104, that's too much, right? Four, so that's a four bit, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 4, so that's 96 plus 4 is 100, 0, 1. All right? Boy, that's not smart. So I wish we could write that out better. Let's write that out better so that it fits better. All right? Get that written out better. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And Two, three, four, five. All right. Matt, does this look right? Mm -hmm. Andrew, does this look right? Got my students in here to correct me just in case it's wrong. All right, so there you go. There it is. 200. 200. 168. Six. 101, and now we need the subnet mask, and that's pretty easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, And zeros. Okay, so we've got the IP address on top, and beneath we've got the subnet mask or the net mask which is actually 255 zeros. So when the router gets this, these two numbers, right, the IP address and the net mask, what it does is the router takes them and ands them together. We call that process anding. Okay? It basically does a truth table and takes the truth table which is Boolean logic, Boolean logic, and in the truth table, zero is false and a one is true, right? Zero is false and a one is true, and it ands them together. So, if A is true and B is true, C is true in the Boolean logic system, right? So, one and one makes a one. One and one makes a one. Zero and one, zero is false. If A is false and B is true, C is false. And so we'd have a false, and we'd have a true here. Zero is false and one is true. We have zero, zero, the answer C would be false. And the resulting for the network is 200. And then we do the same here and we decide, uh oh, a true and a true makes a true. A false and a true makes a false. A true, a false, a true, a false, false, false. And the network number is 200.168. And false, 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 true, true, false, and a six. And then when we get to the all important last octet, these are all falses here. So the result is gonna be all zeros, because anything <laughs> basically times zero or in this case, anything with a, uh, a true or a false, mixed with a false, results in a false. So the network is 200.168.6.0. And that is the network, and that's how the router figures out from the IP address, anded, anding with the net mask, how it finds the network.